In this video, I want to talk about the free rig, this Japanese technique that it's not necessarily new, but it still is flying under the radar. And a lot of anglers are starting to catch a lot of bass with a free rig, whether you fish for largemouth or smallmouth or spotted bass in shallow water or deep water in ponds or in lakes, like the free rig is a great technique that is starting to replace baits like the Texas rig even. And today I want to talk a little bit more about it. Now, real quick before I do, I do want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by my apparel company, Fin Fishing. Today is the last day of January, which means it's the last day to get buy one, get one for 50% off on my USA made sun shirts. That's right. They are made in the U.S. I'm very proud of that. Also, I have some new colors in the bass hats like this one right here. The America color is what I'm calling it. So anyways, if you guys want to help support this channel, you can click those links down below for fin fishing. All right, let's talk about the free rig. And like I said, this is not a new technique, but it's still very under the radar. And if you guys don't know what the free rig is, I am actually going to overlay some B-roll here. I don't normally do this on the channel, but I do want you guys to understand what I am talking about. Now, as you can see, the free rig is pretty like simple looking. It is kind of a teardrop style weight in front of a Texas rigged soft plastic. It's very simple. It's a very, very simple uh, technique. Now, the thing about this particular technique, when I first saw it, I was not that impressed. If I'm being 100% honest, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, like that's legitimately what I felt. I just was like, whatever. My big thing was like, when will this ever be better or maybe worse than a, a Texas rig that is unpegged? Because if you think about a Texas rig that's unpegged, they're very, very similar. Now, the big thing about a free rig and where it's different than a Texas rig is really kind of what it implies in the name. That weight, because you're using kind of that teardrop style weight, that weight slides up and down that line a lot more and a lot more frequently than what happens with a Texas rigged bullet weight. If you think about a bullet weight, you know, a bullet weight is obviously a little bit longer, which means there's going to be more surface area of that bullet weight that is hitting that line, which creates more drag, more friction. And so although it's an unpegged bullet weight, it doesn't slide way up and down the line like a free rig, free rig will. Now, the big thing on why that is so important is because when that weight slips up and down that line, it makes your bait look a lot more natural. And it makes basically a weightless presentation down there on the bottom. And if you guys know anything about bass fishing and weightless presentations, like it's, it's obviously the way to go. Like just really think about some of the best baits on the market, a Cinco. Like how do we all fish Cinco's? Wacky rigged or maybe weightless Texas rigged. It's one of the best techniques to go out there and catch bass. The bass never get used to it. You can always go out and catch them on it. Think about a fluke. I fish a fluke weightless a lot, and it's a very good technique, right? Because it looks so natural in the water, like the Cinco. Think about a Carolina rig. A Carolina rig, although you do have a big one ounce weight, usually one ounce weight attached to it, it's usually pretty far up the line. So you are now presenting a uh, like a Texas rig style bait, but you can do it now in deeper water in that weightless manner. And that is why a Carolina rig can be so effective. Now, fast forward to the free rig and what we've been talking about, it is literally doing the exact same thing. It is helping you to present that bait in a weightless manner. And the thing about it is that it tends to get more bites than a Texas rig from what I have seen. I have only fished this probably a dozen times, but it always seems to outproduce the Texas rig. It really does. And I've seen it even in ponds to outproduce Texas rigs while fishing with friends. Now, something that's really interesting about it is that I heard from one of my buddies who fishes on the Great Lakes for big smallmouth in really deep water that this particular rig is starting to outfish a drop shot, which if you think about is pretty insane because a drop shot is one of like 
like when you think about drop shot in Great Lakes and smallmouth, like it just goes hand in hand. But the thing is, is that he is now presenting a bait in a different way in deep water when pretty much anyone who fishes that same depth is basically just fishing a drop shot. Like he's fishing it in 40 and 50 foot of water. If you think about it, everyone who fishes that deep for smallmouth is almost always fishing a drop shot. So although those fish still bite a drop shot a lot, and I absolutely love a drop shot, he is now using a different style bait in deep water. And we've talked about this so many times on this channel, on the Bass Fishing HQ channel. If you do something that is different, you can you tend to get a lot more bites. If, 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 if everyone is doing the exact same thing, you're doing something different, like you will get more bites. And so when he talked about that, it really blew my mind. And what also blew my mind is that not only is he fishing a, a free rig, but he's fishing in 50 foot of water with a three quarter ounce weight with 17 pound fluorocarbon. So as opposed to fishing a spinning rod with six or eight pound test, he's fishing a bait caster with a free rig with 17 pound line. So he's able to lay the hammer to these fish. He's getting these fish in very fast. They're not getting completely exhausted in the water. And it's been a very, very good technique for him. Like, like I said, almost replacing uh, a drop shot. Now, Real quick before I let you guys go, I do want to talk a little bit about the equipment that I use. It's very similar to what my buddy uses as well. I, I fish it on my standard um, Texas rig equipment, I guess you can say. So for me, I like a seven foot three inch medium heavy, kind of a fast action rod, moderate fast action rod is what it really is. Um, and I like it on 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon. I do think that you could fish this like finesse style where you put it on a spinning rod with maybe an eighth ounce or quarter ounce weight and eight to 12 pound test. I think you could absolutely do that. I just don't know. I've never done it. So I'm not going to sit here and talk about it. The other thing that I don't really want to talk about because I just don't know yet is the best baits for this rig. I have fished kind of like your beaver style bait. I fished a lot of Texas rig, like regular Texas rig worms, like a seven to 10 inch worm. And then I did fish this one bait that's called a jackal honey nugget. And the honey nugget was probably the best bait for this rig. The only bad thing about a honey nugget is that you lose uh, these baits all the time. Like as soon as you catch a bass on them, you basically lose them. They're kind of a fragile bait, but it was like, it was definitely a better bait than all the rest that I have fished so far with this rig. It's what I actually showed in that small video, that little honey nugget. So I would love to hear your guys' input if you fish the free rig and also what baits that you have put on this because I would just love to know. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please comment below. Also check out my most recent video right here and I will see you guys tomorrow.